Hello fellow developers, welcome back. In this video we're gonna create two routes, one for liking a scream and one for unliking a scream. So let's do that. All right, let's write these routes. So we got app.post, why is it post? Actually it can be a get request. So app.get slash scream slash colon scream id slash uh, like or yeah just like and then it's gonna of course it's gonna be a protected route and it's gonna point to like scream and let's copy it paste it again this will be unlike and I've changed this to unlike as well so let's bring these two functions that we haven't created in. So like scream and unlike scream. Uh, one thing that I forgot to do last time. So here where we post a scream, we need to actually get the image of the user as well because uh, we don't want to send another query to fetch it. So we can do um, user image here. We store the user image in the, the document of the screen. So user image equals request user. Remember in the last video, we actually um, did this uh, image URL thing. So request .user image URL through the middleware, we're adding it. And we need to uh, set like count, initialize them. So like count is zero and comment count is zero as well because this post has just been created. And when we create it as well, as a response, we need to return it and not just return a message. So here, when we get the document back, we'll have to add in, let's do const uh, res, I don't know, response scream, I guess, res scream equals um, new scream. And here, let's do res scream dot scream id because we want to add the id equals doc dot id now you might be thinking whoa this is a constant how can you edit uh, a key in it but actually you can edit a key in the constant you just can't change the data type or the complete value of the object all right so here response dot json we just returned this res scream and let's quickly test that so I already have Firebase uh, running. Let's go to Postman. We already have a token, which I hope isn't it expired. So slash scream. Let's keep this open. Let's just copy this. Uh, yeah, well, let's copy this here. Slash API slash um, scream to post the scream. So let's copy this uh, token. Let's go to headers. Authori author oh boy authorization bearer space that token I did it guys I, I spelled authorization properly <laughs> the body will be I don't know hello hello whatever let's send And cool, we get hello, hello, the body, we well, use our image is no image because this user doesn't have an image yet. We get the scream ID, like can't created, brilliant. Okay, so that's fixed. All right, let's create the like function. So export the like uh, scream. Let's put a comment here that says like a scream. Like a person could not understand from like scream that it's what it does, I don't know. <laughs> Request response. And here, what we need to do, actually, I want to explain something first. Um, it's theory time. All right. What we're going to do here, uh, because you might be thinking, wait, why don't we store all the comments and the likes of each scream um, in the scream document itself? And you would be right in the sense that, yeah, it makes more sense to store them in the same document. But the way databases work, you're supposed to keep each document actually really small in size and try to spread all the properties. And the way Firebase in particular works is that uh, it 
it has a maximum of four megabytes per document uh, that al allows you. And of course, if you would have a big social media website, let's say something like Twitter, one tweet could have thousands of likes and thousands of comments. So it would be extremely inefficient to store everything in one document because it would be really slow to query that one document. And if you needed only a few properties instead of everything, the way how query languages work, you need to fetch the whole document to get to get any properties. So it's more efficient to actually spread these properties and have the likes and the comments in different collections and fetch them separately. Um, I'm gonna post uh, in the description a video by the Firebase developers themselves explaining how you structure your database like this and why it's actually more efficient and why it costs you less money on Firebase. Remind me if I forget to post that video. And by the way, I have one quick thing to say. Uh, tell me, please let me know in the comment section if you prefer the, you know, the just code and let me write the code behind you because I just want to learn this framework approach or you prefer the approach where I actually explain the stuff that I'm writing uh, because I noticed that I do spend uh, quite a lot of time explaining some of the principles, but I personally think it's better for you to understand them. But okay, rant over. Let me know. Give me, I would like to get some feedback on that. All right, let's get to business. Let's create a collection called likes. And the way our likes uh, are gonna work, simply each like will hold a user handle of who liked the scream and another uh, key scream ID of what scream they liked. Let's grab this ID because it's the only scream I have on my database. So let's put it here. And we could add a created at, but it's only useful for statistics and data analytics because we just want to show the amount of likes. You can do it if you want, but I'm just going to stick to screen ID and user handle for now. So yeah, we got likes now. And that means technically this, um, actually I have the other screen. So this screen now has one like by this user. Uh, let's not worry about like count for now. Or actually let's worry about it. Let's just... Let's just, oh, it doesn't have it. It's okay, let's not worry about it. <laughs> All right, so here what we need to do is that we need to check whether a like document exists or not. We can't just add a like. We fetch, uh, we query from our database and if this like document already exists, we need to return a message to the user saying, uh, scream uh, already liked, you can't like it again. And as well, we need to check uh, whether the scream itself exists. And if it doesn't, we'll be like, hey, the scream doesn't exist. You can't like a scream that doesn't exist. Uh, this function is gonna have a lot of code, but it's it's good practice. If you, you need to uh, take care of the edge cases. So we're gonna get both documents uh, right now and set them in variables because uh, we're gonna need to reference to them multiple times and we don't wanna like type a lot of this code again. So let's do const like document equals db dot collection likes uh, where the user handle of the like um, equals the user handle of the user that's trying to like again or trying to like not um, potentially not again so request dot user dot handle because this is protected again that means we have access to that handle and we chain another where here where scream ID equals request dot params because this uh, the ID of the screen will be in the URL itself dot scream ID. All right, and let's do limit one because this is a query that means it's gonna return a couple of documents. And even by the way, when we limit to one, it's still gonna give us an array with one document. It's not gonna give us one document. So let's do const scream document equals db dot doc slash um, screams slash dollar sign curly braces um, request dot params dot scream ID. All right, let's do, let's initialize, let's scream data equals an empty object. And let's do scream document. So the first check is we check that document, that this scream document exists, dot get, dot then, doc. Here we do if, um, 
if not doc dot exists and return um, actually let's start with doc exists because um, it's more efficient to start with the case that you think is more probable to happen so if doc exists then um, we need to actually give the scream data this data so scream data equals we don't have to actually initialize it as an object because it's going to become an object now so scream data equals doc dot data and we need the scream id as well so we do scream data dot scream id equals doc dot id and here return like document dot get and here we do else that means if the document does not exist we do return res dot status 404 and we're gonna have a json with an error scream not found all right so after the, the then um no not catch we have another then because we did return a like document so this will give us a, a query snapshot so data if so data has an empty property if if the array is empty so if data dot empty that means we don't have the like so we can actually create it so let's do return db dot collection likes likes like this dot add and here we pass an object and this object will have a scream id of request dot params dot scream id and the user handle quest dot user dot handle and the thing is we can't do return here and and then handle the promise in the next then because this the problem is that even if it's not empty it might it might actually go through so we're actually gonna put we're gonna nest the then inside of this if block to avoid that problem uh, so we're gonna do then scream data dot like count so we're gonna increment the like count because we liked so we're gonna increment the like count of the scream uh, by one so we do scream data dot like count plus plus so let's do now so now we've already added a like to our likes collection what we need to do is we need to actually persist not persist add uh, increment the like document um, sorry the like count in the property in the like in the document of the scream in the database oh boy all right so scream document dot update and we need to update one property which is the like count and we set it to scream uh, data dot like count because uh, remember this scream data equals the data that we got from the scream from the database and we've already ex imp incremented the like count here so we just pass this here and and the, here we chain another then and this returns a right result we don't need so we here we just say return res.json so here everything went successfully so we return the screen data which will hold the scream and yeah without any likes just the screen with the new like count so here this if block let's do else that means we have no likes uh, rather we have a like in this data uh, array that means we can't like this because it's already liked by this user so return res.status um, 400 dot json and the error will say scream already liked all right so after this then we do dot catch error res dot status 500 error dot code that's console error as well don't know why I'm formatting because prettier is gonna format it anyway 
All right, let's save all of this and let's save this. Let's comment this because this unlike doesn't exist yet. Or let's actually create it and just return nothing. Or do we write the whole thing? Screw it, let's write the whole thing. So exports dot unlike, and I did say screw it, I'm keeping it PG. <laughs> All right, request response const is very similar to um, to like so we can actually copy everything now I I know I could do everything in one function the like that but unlike but the code will get too massive and we could just add another route it doesn't harm anyone so here we have the like document same thing scream document same thing let's scream data uh, but here instead it's the opposite down here so if the um, if the data is empty, this is where we return the error. So let's copy this return. Let's go here and say error scre um, scream not liked because we can't unlike a scream that we haven't liked yet. Otherwise, if we do have something in that array, data array, what we need to do is we need to delete that entry. So let's remove all of this, let's do uh, db dot collection. Um, hey, do we do that? Oh, we have the path for it. So what you need to do is that db dot collection likes dot um actually dot doc. We haven't done this yet. db dot collection dot doc. So this already adds the slash um thing, or maybe we can do this. Let me try something to make it more simple. So db.doc like this, uh, backticks slash likes slash, and we remove this bit of code. Then we add data, the array of data, zero, the first member of data um, dot, oh, actually, no, what am I doing? Data.docs zero, because this is the, the array dot data, the function, dot id should give us the id so this is the actual path for that document and we chain dot delete which will delete the function um the document rather and then here we chain dot then inside of this block and then like this we don't need the right result so we do a scream data dot like count minus minus to decrement it by one and we return scream document dot update like count is scream data dot like count and to put a colon here scream data dot like count and then dot then as well here And we'll say we we'll just return a response res.json. Uh, we return actually the screen data. And here after this, then we have the catch. It's going to have the same error. Cool. All right. So unlike, unlike screen is done as well. So let's save everything. Make sure you're running. Let's go to Postman. So here we already have an authorization token because we were trying to comment. Now we will try to actually like, so slash like, and let's not send anybody. And it's a get request. So let's send this. Okay, it says scream already liked because we added that uh, document. So let's actually put them side by side. So we can see update in real time. Let's do unlike. Let's try to unlike this comment, uh, this scream. Okay, there's an internal server error. db.doc.delete is not a function. Oh, detail. Wow. <laughs> All right. Save. You probably didn't make this make this mistake. 
All right. Well, that's weird. It didn't delete the actual like. And the like count is null. Oh, it's because this scream itself, it didn't have a like count in the first place. Let's give this a value of zero. It's decrementing the like count, but it's not deleting the like itself. Okay, let me have a look at this and come back. Okay, it's actually this db um, data dot docs, not dot data. The ID is actually stored in the document reference and not in the data itself. My bad. Okay, let's. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the screams. So this, what scream was it? It was this scream. Well, it was this screen. So let's put the like count to one because that's what it was because there's only one like and it's on that screen. And let's send the like again. It should say screen already liked. Cool. Let's do unlike. Cool. It deletes the document. And if we go to screams, it uh, decrements, oh no, it's this one. It decrements the like count to zero. And if we send like, It increments the like count to one, and if we go to likes, it created the like document, a different like document, but with the same credentials. Since we're already here, and this video is not that long yet, we could keep going and create the delete um, scream route. Uh, but before we do that, I want to fix uh, something. One functionality that's missing is that here, when we uh, comment on the scream, we actually have access to the scream document. So we could actually uh, just increment the comment count right here. So here, instead of this return collection uh, thing, let's cut this and let's do return document, which is the scream document. And here to use uh, the update function, we have to add the prefix reference and use update. And here we need to update the comment count. So let's, let's do an object and comment count will should be equal to doc dot data dot comment count which is the current comment count plus one all right so here let's chain a dot then which will have a right result which we don't need and then here we paste back the uh, adding the comment so db dot collection comments add new comment all right so this should do the trick and if we go to our database, we see we have three comments all on this um, screen. So if we go to that screen, actually that, that screen doesn't even have a field comment count because it was created too early. So let's do comment count and it's a number and it has three comments. So now if we submit a comment to this, we should see this comment count incre increment by one. And of course the comment would be created. So we have that ID right here. Let's um, write comment here. Let's get a token. Well, we already had the token, but whatever, let's take the new token. Let's go here in headers. Come all the way here, paste the new token. And over here it's comment and comment is a post route. So post and in the body, let's say comment number four. Let's send. And let's look here. Uh, I mean here, cool. <laughs> comment count has incremented by one. So we have four comments now. And in our comments, we have a new one. Comment, yeah, there we go. Comment number four. Great. All right, so let's write the route for deleting a screen. So in the index, let's instead of this comment, let's do app.delete, because it's a delete request. And it's gonna point to slash screen slash scream um, colon scream ID. Of course, it's going to be a protected route. And the function will be delete scream. Let's import that. Delete scream. Let's save go to screams here at the bottom. Let's do a comment 
delete. I always misspell the word screen uh, delete for some reason. All right, so exports dot delete screen delete. I hate the word delete. <laughs> Request response, and uh, we need a reference to it. So const document equals db dot doc uh, backticks slash screams slash uh, dollar sign curly braces request dot params dot scream id now here we do document dot get uh, dot then we get document and here we do if not doc dot exists um, well if it doesn't exist we say mate it doesn't exist you're trying to delete something that's already been deleted or potentially never existed in the first place so rest.status 404 json um, error the good old not found else if it's found um, what do we do here? Actually, here we need to check because we need to check that the i uh, the user ID of this uh, scream is the same as the user ID of the user decoded from the token. Because we need to make sure that this user is the actual owner of this scream. Because you can't delete someone else's uh, scream. So we need to check doc data dot user handle has to be. Um, so if it's not equal to request.user.handle, because we already have that through the middleware, um, we need to return res.status403 unauthorized with a JSON with an error of unauthorized. Else, we return document. Uh, this is why we actually put it in a variable because we needed to uh, to use it again. Delete. Oh boy, I misspelled delete. What is happening? <laughs> but then I need a button on my mouse that whenever I click, writes delete because I don't like that word. Okay, so a message would say scream deleted. Yes, I did it successfully. All right, let's, uh, let's add a dot catch just in case. Uh, console dot log not log error error and return response dot status five hundred JSON. error error dot code all right let's test all of this and we're already running so let's go to postman and so i'm user and this um wait let me make sure so let's go to screams so this scream is uh, by user and i'm logged in as user so if i send a delete request to this scream slash the scream ID slash delete, um, we should actually successfully delete it. Um, wait, do I? Actually, we don't need this delete because this can be the same. This can be like this without the extra path here. Oh, not here. Here? Where are we? Okay. Oh, we don't have the delete. Okay, my bad. I confused myself there. So if I send this, it should successfully delete it. Cool, and it does. If we go to our database, that scream is gone. Yeah, the scream is gone. And if we try to delete it again, it should say scream not found. Brilliant. Okay, so this was a long video, but we accomplished quite a lot. In the next video, we're gonna start to work on database triggered and programmatic triggers and automatically increment numbers. Actually, we don't increment numbers. We're gonna, I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna do something cool. <laughs> Look forward to the next video. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.